Eraser coding is a data protection method that allows a system to recover lost data while using less storage than full replication. Unlike replication, which creates multiple complete copies of data, Eraser coding works by splitting data into smaller parts and generating extra parity chunks. We store mathematical information that helps rebuild the original data if some parts are lost. This approach is widely used in modern cloud storage systems including AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, and Google Cloud Storage, where durability and cost efficiency are critical. And in this video, we'll break it down with a simple Python example so you can see exactly how it works in practice. So let's dive in. Think of erasure coding like a Sudoku puzzle. You only need some of the numbers to figure out the missing ones. Even if a few numbers are erased, you can still solve the puzzle using the remaining ones. Similarly, parity chunks store enough information that even if some data chunks are lost, the missing parts can be reconstructed instead of being permanently lost. Let's break it down with a simple example. Let's say we have a video file that is 10 MB in size and we want to store it in a fault tolerant way. So in step one, we split the file into K data chunks. Instead of storing the full file, the system splits it into four parts. So K is equal to four, and each part contains 2.5 MB of the original file. The system then generates two extra parity chunks, say M equal to two. These parity chunks don't store copies of the data, but rather mathematical patterns that can help reconstruct missing data. So the system stores six chunks in total, four data, and two parity on different storage servers. A common notation for this scheme in our case is K comma M, meaning K data chunks and M parity chunks. That is four data chunks and two parity chunks. Now, even if any two chunks are lost, the system can still rebuild the full video file using the remaining four chunks. And to rebuild the original file, the system only needs K out of the total K plus M chunks. Even if up to R chunks are lost, say because of node failures or network issues, you can still recover the entire file from the remaining chunks. Note that the size of each parity chunk depends on the erasure coding scheme used. In general, if you use an K, M erasure code where K is number of data chunks and M is number of parity chunks, the total storage overhead is K plus M by K times the original data size. For example, if you use 4, 2 erasure coding, meaning 4 data chunks plus 2 parity chunks, the total storage required is 4 plus 2 by 4 or 1.5x the original data size. Each parity chunk is the same size as a data chunk in most cases. So if each data chunk is 2MB, then each parity chunk is also 2MB, making the total storage 6MB for the 4MB file. Parity chunks store mathematical relationships between data chunks, allowing lost data to be reconstructed. And the most commonly used technique is Reed solomon erasure coding. And here is how it works simply in plain English. Imagine we have four numbers, say five, nine, two and eight. Instead of storing another full copy, we store two extra numbers calculated using a simple mathematical rule like this. So our parity one becomes 24 and parity two becomes 82 in this case. Now, even if one or two numbers are lost, we can use these parity values to solve for the missing numbers. In real world systems, these calculations are done using more advanced polynomial function instead of simple addition. But the core idea remains the same. Let's explore how to implement Reed Solomon erasure coding in Python. Reed Solomon encoding is one of the popular techniques used for fault tolerant systems, and it works by splitting data into chunks and adding parity chunks to allow recovery in case of data loss. We'll break this implementation into three steps, encoding data, simulating data loss, and decoding the data, or reconstructing the original data using the remaining chunks. For this, we'll use the Reed Solo library, and you can install it using pip install if you don't already have it. The input of our program is a block of data, in this case, a string, hello bytemunks. We also specify two key parameters, which is k, the number of data chunks we'll split the input into. Here, it's set to four, meaning the data will be divided into four equal parts. And m, which is the number of parity chunks we'll generate. This is set to two, meaning we'll create two additional chunks for redundancy. So while encoding data, we split the input data into k data chunks and generate m parity chunks for redundancy, and here is the code. The step here takes the original data, splits it into k chunks, and generates m parity chunks. The RS coding object here handles the math behind Reed Solomon coding. And then 
it splits the encoded data into chunks to simulate storage on different servers. And here is what you can expect when running the code. And as you can see, it has split the data into six chunks. All right, now that the data is split into six chunks, let's simulate data loss. Here, we randomly lose some chunks to mimic a real world failure scenario. The random.sample function removes some chunks while retaining enough to reconstruct the data of k chunks. And here is the output of the remaining chunks after loss. As you can see, we have lost two chunks. Now, let's recover the original data using the remaining chunks. The Reed Solomon algorithm reconstructs missing chunks using mathematical relationships stored in the parity chunks. So here, the RS codec decode function uses the remaining chunks, both data and parity, to reconstruct the original data. And this demonstrates the power of erasure coding. We preserve the original data despite losing two chunks thanks to those parity chunks. And this approach is far more storage efficient than full replication, which would require storing multiple complete copies of the data. Here, instead of making full copies like replication, which triples the storage needs, erasure coding is storing just enough extra data to recover lost pieces. Replication might store three full copies of your file with 3x overhead. In contrast, erasure coding with an 8,4 scheme has a 1.5x overhead or 12 chunks versus 8 chunks of original data chunks. This means significant cost savings when you are storing petabytes or exabytes of data. Here is a table comparing erasure coding versus replication. Feel free to pause and take a look. Now, generating parity chunks and later reconstructing missing chunks involves CPU intensive operations. This means higher compute cost and potentially higher latency during writes and rebuilds. And implementing erasure coding requires more complex logic than simple replication. Systems and algorithms like Reed Solomon need careful tuning of parameters to balance fault tolerance, storage overhead, and performance. Services like AWS S3, Microsoft Azure, and HDFS often use erasure coding to reduce overhead and manage huge amounts of data cost effectively. Clearly, Erasure coding is a powerful method for storing data redundantly and achieving fault tolerance without the massive overhead of multiple full copies. By splitting files into data chunks and parity chunks, you save on storage cost while still protecting data against hardware and server failures. However, you should be mindful of the added computation and operational complexity. It's all about striking the right balance for your workload.